Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to empty the excess water out of a hot point, um, a Hoover Eco Power Inverter 1400 Spin Wash. As you can see, this is the model. But sometimes, if your clothes, it's a washer dryer. But if your clothes are not drying properly, for some reason they start getting damp, normally the problem lays down here. Now there's a little door, which sometimes it builds. There's a buildup of excess water inside. So what you've got to do, get a little flathead screwdriver. There's a little thing you've got to open right here. Just carefully open it. Yes, you're going to pull it out towards you. So you pull it out towards you and you put it back. And put the tray or get something underneath there. You get something underneath there to catch the water. And you just got to turn it, turn it anti clockwise. and you'll see the water start coming out. That's excess water, which you've got to take out. So you take little by little. So I'm actually just using a baking tree. I'm using a baking tree. I've got some of the water out and I'm going to go and pour that in the sink. And once, I'll keep on doing that process until no more water is coming out of this door. Then I'm going to screw it back clockwise tight. Move the last tray away with the water. The last tray away with the water, simply push it back in and close. Lock it back in firmly. And that's how you will drain the excess water out of your washer dryer. It's a Hoover H Wash and Dry 500. And once you've done that, you'll find your clothes. Your clothes will start washing and completely drying. It won't come to the end of the dry cycle. And you find that you've got damp clothes inside there anymore. But that's generally how to solve this problem on this particular model. So if you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and it will encourage me to keep on making more of these type of videos or general videos. It's not gonna just be about Ziggy the dog or it's not just gonna be about traveling in the, 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 <coughs> the Peak District or Lake District. It's gonna be about general things. It's going to be about all sorts. And if you want to be kept, you know, posted of the latest videos, hit the like and subscribe button. When you hit the like button, it encourages the algorithms on YouTube to show it to a wider audience who can also, you know, benefit from these tips and what I'm doing. And also when you subscribe, it's helping the channel grow. So have a good evening and when you do like and subscribe, it is totally free. It's costing you nothing, but you may, even if you learn something little out of one of these videos, it is good to go and share it, share the knowledge. Because if you call even a plumber to sort out this little problem, they're going to charge you at least at least 60 pounds just for coming out and looking at it so and they'll say it's you know make it out to be a bigger job than it is but look you've just seen you open the drawer open the drawer here turn it clockwise pull it out turn it anti-clockwise put the tree to catch the water Empty some water out, 
move the tray, go into the tray, then close it and repeat the process until all the water is gone. And then you've saved yourself a lot of money and a lot of frustration. So this is just basically telling you how to empty out the excess water the excess water and save yourself some money because it can be quite frustrating when you want your clothes properly dry and they're coming out damp and you don't know why. So until next time, I shall bid you a good evening and see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. It is I really appreciate your interaction. If you've got any tips yourself about this process, please leave a comment in the comment section. So you can like, you can subscribe, those are essential, and you can also comment if you want on any, you know, little tips, DIY tips you may have with regards to these Hoover washer dryers. Again, thank you for watching. Bye for now.